Yo, hey, what's going on, guys? So we got this uh, Armor HD drone. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fly it around the birthday suite that I have. AM's out. Nice little pool in there. Let's go. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, this isn't going to be a really fast fly. This is going to be a two-part video. If you want to see a little bit fast fly, stay tuned for the second part. This is going to be kind of a chill fly to show you the room, also to show you the quality of the camera. And Ray, where you at? My man Ray, he always loves uh, me FPVing spots that I uh, that I go to. Whoop whoop. So uh, that's actually all I brought with me. I didn't bring any other bigger drones. I brought my case of whoops. And uh, we are going to do some whoopage drills. As you can see, I hit that crossbar just slightly. Not enough to damage it. We're moving slow, so it won't damage it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a light cruise up the stairs here. I can't say enough about this camera. The camera that is on this and the, the whole setup in general, the drone itself. Um, I absolutely love it, and I do believe it is my number one favorite drone. It, it took the Alcema cg 035s place just because of the micro compact brushless power it could run on 3s i have 3s batteries i haven't tried it yet though um and this camera man this camera is amazing for something this small um it is uh it takes an sd card in body and this is what you can expect to get again this is a chill flight we will increase speed throughout the course of this video we're going to burn one battery um, we're actually going to crash in a little bit and then uh, go on to the second battery. Bam, a little gapage. It's fun. It's really fun to kind of test yourself, see what type of gaps you can hit. Uh, obviously, the big wide open ones are no problem, but those smaller ones are a little bit more challenging. Um, but they're definitely doable. Now, first time going down the stairs, as you can see, I crashed. We're taking off. This is still that first battery. Um, this is still part of the first battery here, and I want to kill the battery. I want to burn the battery off, and uh, that's what we're going to do. This is, uh, this is fun. If you can see me, I'm down there. Um, I'm wearing FXT goggles. Uh, I uh, have the screen, the complete setup. It's not the modified setup that I have. I like the modified setup, and here we go. Chasing gaps, chasing gaps. Can we do it? Yes, that was clean. I didn't even touch. Super clean. You can see the starlight up top. You can see the pool. You can actually see my wife in the pool um, if you got a good eye. But, uh, dude, this is good fun. I was on a simulator for two hours yesterday, and uh, what what I've transitioned to this flight from the simulator is being able to move both sticks simultaneously to kind of get a clean direction, like roundabout right there. That's both sticks kind of leading to the right. Um, so that's a uh, good thing. Good thing for Sims. We're we're just about out of uh, voltage here, and we are going to land it, and then we will go to the second battery where I get a little bit rammy, or uh, I, I push on the throttle a little bit. I go a little bit quicker. We're bouncing down the stairs. Voltage is super low, and uh, I land it. I shut off uh, shut off the motors and go over and retrieve it. And again, this is the second battery. I wanted to kind of push it a little bit. I wanted to get a little bit more epic footage and uh, see if we could put a little pepper on it, a little bit of speed on it. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here. We haven't increased greatly. Um, as you can see, I'm bouncing around a little bit. It's not as controlled as the last one because I'm not a speed demon. I have no real need for speed when it comes to a drone. But I got to admit, the footage looks pretty cool. And then we hit that gap. Flaw, not flawlessly, we, we hit the top of it, but we hit it a lot quicker than we did um, on that previous run. So we're moving around here. We will get faster. We will get a little bit faster, guys. Bam. Bam. Just smacking crossbars. Could have went up or down, and uh, we ended up smacking the center of it. How that works out is beyond me. It's uh, pretty crazy how you can hit the only thing obstructing it. Now we buzz through here. We're going to rip out here. Bam. Yeah. Putting a little bit of speed on it. Again, I've not, and you see me hitting stuff because I'm no pro at flying uh, with speed. Uh, I'm not a precision vet in goggles flying with speed by any means. That's just generally not my style. But um, what you see is what you get here. I've not adjusted the settings. I know there's an FPV reviewer who said, you must adjust the settings on this camera. Bam, bam. We got tied up there. We got tied up. 
that light crash you can see one of the rings broke on it uh, a little super glue will put that back together i don't have it with me but we're gonna send it again we're gonna kill the rest of this battery i'm sure that won't affect the flight just gotta kind of be careful not to hit anything uh too heavy because i don't got my extra propellers with me either same battery still got the chip and a little ring and as i examined it the rings aren't a part of the frame so it's not going to affect the drone itself maybe slightly unbalanced but if you also look at the top of the screen it's something that i considered doing prior to crashing this was to removing a piece of that ring because if you look upper left you can see a piece of the ring you look upper right you can't see that because we broke that off um so this I don't know. I, I might re-adhere it or I might snip the other side to match it. And what I'm just going to have to be careful then is to crash heavy crashes head on because then the blades are completely exposed. But uh, again, upper right, you don't see any type of the blade guards. Upper left, you see the blade guards. Guys, I'm Jay Drawn. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns down below, um, I'm happy to share my birthday with you guys. I'm not going to be too, too much involved with YouTube um, throughout the next course of the days. But I'll be around. I'll be around. I got a B-Whoop. I got three batteries charged. We're going to hit an arcade slash gymnasium slash billiards room. We're definitely going to fly that. And I definitely will post that within the next day or so. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns down below, I will link this drone down below. I'll link the goggles down below. I'll link the jumper. That's what I'm using, the jumper plus. We'll link that down below for you too. Um, as you can see, after I've crashed, I've kind of taken it a little bit easy and uh, we didn't crash too much into anything. And we are down. We're going to go retrieve the drone. There's a little button on the drone to stop and start recording. Uh, all right, guys. Later.